Let's just face it, folks. Video card prices at the moment are just outrageous. They are off the hook. No one can really even afford to jump into gaming right now. And so it even seems like reviews of video cards have slowed down since they're so over, you know, overpriced that people aren't even buying them. Now, I was actually planning on doing a review today on another video card, but I kind of thought about it for a second and I was like, you know what, that's... All right, since right now the video card just outrageous, people might not even really want to see that. Kind of got a little bit of flack on the last one. But a rumor has come out, ta -da, ta da that NVIDIA at GTC will possibly have two new cards coming out. You know, two new cards. Who knows? Now, Ampere and Tuning are pretty much what the chip says are supposedly rumored to be. And this rumor comes from Tweaktown. They said that an inside confidential source has said now at GTC they will be releasing these new cards. And uh, I don't know. A couple weird things about that. I, now, I know that NVIDIA really needs to get cards out there to compete hardcore in the mining market because let's just face it right now you guys all know that amd cards are the first and most sought after for mining and then secondary come the nvidia cards now nvidia cards obviously for gaming are still the most sought after so it would kind of make sense you know for nvidia to release new cards now at this point though honestly does NVIDIA really need to release a new video card? I mean, seems to me like they just try to get the stock up on the cards that are out there so that, that the card prices could drop first before they even think about dropping some more video cards onto the market. Now, I admit it would be a smart move for them to have cards that were really, you know, geared more towards doing the mining as well as gaming the same as the AMD cards. Now, some other interesting facts is that last year, AMD actually gained more market share than ever before. Like, NVIDIA had like 16% of the market, NVIDIA had 14% of the market, NVIDIA lost about 16, uh, excuse me, sorry, wrong number there. NVIDIA lost about 6% of the sales, why NVIDIA increased theirs by a much more dramatic effect than that. And even Intel lost about 2% in their sales, but that's not really in the graphics world, that's just like kind of overall, kind of wondering why the number was there. Now. Even if, you know, NVIDIA does drop these cards on the market, okay? We'll just say that at GTC, they drop these new cards onto the market. How is that really going to affect pricing? And if they're going to be geared towards gaming, will that actually just relieve the burden on the 580s, 570s, you know, and all those different cards out there? Will it relieve the burden? Will those card prices drop? And if so, how will that actually affect the AMD market? Now, will these new cards that, N that NVIDIA is going to release, will they really compete with AMD neck to neck as far as the mining? Because let's just face it, right now, best bang for the buck for mining cards, best bang for the buck for mining cards is an AMD solution. It's not an NVIDIA solution or anybody else. Now, if they can close that gap, hopefully things will change. But, I mean, we have to take this with a total grain of salt. I mean, let's just face it. A guy at this site says he talked to a secret inside guy. I mean, what is this, like corporate espionage? Are we doing the spy versus spy type thing? So how actual truth is in this and how much actual truth is in it, I don't know. But the bottom line is that in NVIDIA for a long time, they have really have not had to make new video cards. They've been ahead for a long time. I know you AMD fans are going to scream. It hasn't always been that way. And you're right. It hasn't always been that way. But for a long time, it's been that NVIDIA has been in the lead and they really don't have to release cards. They just release cards to remain on top. And that's what they do. So obviously, NVIDIA will release cards this year. Hopefully, we're going to see Volta. Where the heck is Volta? We still haven't seen that. But with these two new cards that are being mentioned that are totally geared more towards doing mining, I really hope that those cards do come out. I hope that it's not just a rumor and that it becomes fact and that we see these cards come out because right now it's just impossible to get video cards. I have people, like I've said in other videos, calling me all the time just wanting my video cards. Oh, hey, Elric, dude, you know, I know that you probably have an extra 1080 Ti lying around. Can you think you can sell it to me like 400 bucks even though they're going like $1,300, $1,400 online? And what's crazy, just bear with me one second here, cameraman, is coming back to the chair. This particular card, I was gonna bring you guys the full review on. So you guys can tell me, are you guys still interested in seeing a review of the Red Devil Power Color Vega 64? If so, leave a comment down below because I kind of skipped that because I just thought, okay, this card's a few months old, but I really wanted to test the one, 1% 1 lows, all that stuff, give you guys 4K and all that stuff. So if you would like to see a review on this, let me know. Here is the unfortunate total biatch slap in the face about this card though. 
This card is freaking $1,500 on Amazon. $1,500. And you know, no, this isn't a Quadro card. This isn't, you know, any of the super duper, you know, super high end cards. This is a Vega 64. These things were coming into the market about 500 and something dollars. So like a thousand dollars more, that's a total ripoff. And honestly, to you vendors out there who are doing this, uh, I'm giving you two birds in my mind and telling you to kiss my backside because that's just insane and you're gouging people. I understand supply and demand, but when you raise a price on a video card where it's almost 300% higher than its face value, come on, man. That's worse than scalping tickets to a Led Zeppelin concert on their you know, one time in town. You know, that's just wrong stuff. So at the end of the day, I hope that there are these new CPUs coming out from NVIDIA. I hope it changes the market. I hope that people will be able to afford all of those lower end cards once again, because that would be nice. That way people could actually get back into gaming. Honestly, I've even saw the console prices literally go up overnight. They were selling these things on a um, new egg for like 200 bucks. You could get a cool game and everything else for 200 bucks. These same systems are now $500. So if you do not think that these video card prices are affecting other aspects of the entire gaming industry, you would be wrong because even to get yourself a console now is going to cost you twice as much as it would have cost you three months ago. And that's just totally ridiculous bull crap. The market's broken, something needs to happen. Nvidia, if you happen to watch this video, Hey, release some damn cards. We need some new cards, we need fresh blood, and we need to get this mining craze in the past so that people can get their gaming cards and be free to game without breaking the bank and let the miners spend all that extra money in their mining cards and go out there and do what the heck they're going to do. So hey, I'm Elric. Thanks very much for watching the channel. I love to hear you guys at Pains and stuff. Would you guys love to see mining cards from NVIDIA that actually, you know, did gaming and mining all together? Hopefully more news will come out soon. Until then, peace out.